Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Pisces, welcome to your weekly readings. First week in April, general energies. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus. When we speak about Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus, check your placements because sometimes some placements are stronger for everyone, for different you. And some of them are not as stronger. Many of you may identify as your moon sign. So it be. That works. And some of you might go by the sun sign. Hey, I'm a true Piscean. Well, go for it. Let's learn what this week brings to you and to your energy. All right, Pisces. We have the Magician manifesting great time actually for manifesting with the full moon in libra and you know libra it's all about balance rule by venus and venus is all about connections relationships balancing your own self balancing your own relationship with yourself with your tribe with the people around you and not only Six of Swords, Emperor, and the Fool. So indeed here, I see here manifesting some kind of movement, some kind of new beginning. Six of Swords also speaks about help. You will get help. It's kind of once you take the leap, take the move, you are will get help six of wands seven of wands eight of wands goodness how many wands do we have here and ten of wands wow so six seven eight the nine of wands is the one missing gloves so don't resist that something here if you want to get, you got to let go. There's some kind of a great pressure on you. The Ten of Wands, Two of Cups. I want an easier life. I want a better life. It seems here with the Emperor and Six of Wands, the Pisces I'm speaking, you, you are not just a... Um, just a goer or something here it's like you you could work hard for your career you could be on top of career but i feel here mentally you you feel that you need something else or you feel that you you want a easier life or something easier for you or Clarifying the Six of Swords, Three of Cups. I need people around me. I need those genuine people. Yes, success is only there. But now I feel here there is some kind of... You might feel a little of the hardship. And now you'll know who are those people around you. Who are those people who will help you. Ten of Cups. Seven of Swords. Because... Certain things here happens for a reason. And when we are the highest, yes, we do have all around us. And we are the lowest. We know who needs to stay around us. Because Seven of Swords, that's kind of a thing. Okay. The Seven of Wands here, we have the wheel. The universe definitely here moves you forward, Pisces. With the wheel, Jupiter here, Sagittarian energy, is telling you, I have your back. Open up for new things. And also there is a portal that is open for you to go forward. Eight of Cups, absolutely. And Ten of Pentacles. I feel here there's a big transitionary energy here in what you've done and who you are. 
For some of you, you don't find even yourself anymore in what you used to do. It's like I'm, I'm speaking with a Pisces who could be in a public a lot or who could deal with a lot of people, who be the head of a company or something like that because people see you in a such a way but you always see yourself very differently. And not everyone is there for you, for who you are, but for who you show you are. I hope that makes sense for some of you. Because definitely here, there's something here on the emotional side, could be on the, um, on the thoughtful side. But it's, it's that thing about, I need a change. I see there's a Pisces here feels burned out. That's what I'm hearing. You might not be burned out, but you feel here like, go, 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 do, do, do. Let's go, let's move, let's my... You just kind of feel like too much. For some of you, you could travel a lot. So it seems here that the Pisces want to be... Or make a big change. And why I said bur burn out. The Ten of Swords is the one missing loves. And Ten of Swords definitely speaks about. Many many of you heard Ten of Swords speaks about betrayal and stuff. But in this energy what I'm picking up. The Ten of Swords here speaks about burn out. And physically you could be totally fine. Great. But mentally you you don't want to be there. And seven of swords is kind of, I can't lie to myself any longer. Who I am or who I show myself. It's like that was just a, a facade, um, a mask of who I was. And now the fool is just kind of, I want something to be just easy, careless. I don't want to care what other people will say. I don't want to care people what been there and there and saying those things and those kind of people or those kind of situation. What else from spirit here? Four of pentacles, ace of pentacles, five of pentacles and the queen of cups. Look at this four, ace, five. That's the ten of pentacles here. For some of you, it's kind of you, you're about to see riches or wealth very different. Because I feel here for some of you, you could be very hesitant for a very long time about to not be broke or about to not lose a lot what you created. But actually you are about to gain much more. And you know what that is? Health is a new wealth. You don't have health, you have nothing. And I've been there, I've done that, I know that. And Knight of Swords. For some of you, with this Knight of Swords, you... Yes, you could move quite fast into an energy. Somebody here might not agree with you, whatever you do. But I feel here, there's something here escalated quite fast. There's another thing here with the Knight of Swords. You are at a point in life that you can't find your place. So trying to get yourself together, but at the same time you, you can't. So it seems here that the universe is telling you, walk away, that's fine, it's okay. You are moving into a better energy. Because sometimes we feel like, well, we created all life here. And, but what I feel here also speaks about priorities. What are you prioritize more? Others, fame or job or company or your health. It's very, very important. And I feel here this is very strong about mental health, well-being. Yes, I speak also with a very well-traveled Piscean. But now, I feel here with the Queen of Cups, there's something here you definitely need to allow. One advice from Spirit for you. 
Four of Cups, Judgment, Justice, and Six of Pentacles. Yes, I feel here this is balancing you out. Six of Cups. Getting yourself back. Another thing here, we have all the sixes. And six speaks about connection, relationships. And I feel here this is the relationship with yourself, with what you do, and who you are surrounding with. So it's a major week for many, many Pisces in regards to that Queen of Pentacles. I feel here this also speaks about self-care. Because Queen of Pentacles is a, is a very hard-working person. But at the same time, Queen of Pentacles always give, 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 give. And she's the last to take care of her. So now it's kind of you are the priority. You are the number one. So give that soil some water. Because that's kind of Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups come together. The soil is quite dry. For some of you, hydrate yourself more. Self-care, take a bath, have a massage, go and check your vitals, you know, do you for Lila. And for some of you, it's all about changes, major changes. Journey by moonlight, believe in magic, wondrous universe, walk in beauty and begin now. Take your first step. And surrendering to the journey, releasing control. You don't need to control everything. I feel here for some of you, you, you got to the point that he, to not to to avoid the tower moment, you gotta take action. It's kind of like for not to be the worst, I need to do what is needed to be done. And yes, it seems here you are doing it. Love and light loves, thank you for watching, much appreciation, and I wish you all a blessed week. Namaste.